Good day fellow viewers, today BG rolled out a patch with some fixes, some new additions, as well as they finally rolled out a first survey, so let us go through it. Um, I think I'm going to go through the survey first and then I'm going to go through the patch notes. So whenever you open the game now, there is a survey tab right there, it will have a number 1 uh, when you open it first. And then BSG asks us to do a feedback survey the last one minute um, about uh, like the questions aimed at the collecting additional feedback from the players about the game modes as well as about the update point 15 and in-game events. All right, let's start it. So what are your favorite early Y applications? Um, Factory, Woods, Customs, Ground Zero, Shoreline, Lighthouse, Reserve, Interchange, Streets of Tarkov, Labs. I think for me personally, it's Customs, Interchange and Streets. Do you play PV mode? Yes, I fully switched from PV to PV since um, its release. Yes, I played after completing all PvP goals. Yes, I play from time to time. I play in a group solo. Um, interesting that there is no no option. Like <laughs> you cannot choose that you do not play PvE. It's like, hello sir, do you play PvE mode? Yes or yes? Please respond. All right. Um, I, I don't know. I, I play it from time to time. Um, also, I play in a group solo. This doesn't like, you know, like there is no, you can answer both of them. I, yes, I play from to time and yes, I play in a group solo. Like there is no uh, counteraction in, in between those answers. You could, you should, you should be able to answer both because like they are not mutually exclusive. Either way, do you play EFT arena? Yes, I play regularly. I play from time to time. I play to complete ref tasks. No, I don't plan to. I say I play regularly because I'm on an arena team and we participate in some tournaments. That'd be a fair answer. What's the new feature of patch point 15 you like the most? Boss partisan, bipods and weapons uh, mounting, updated factory, new weapons and updated weapon models, new hideout zones, ship wires, variable optic zoom, sound engine rework. Where is the clouds option? Clouds, new clouds is actually the my, my, my favorite new addition. Not gonna lie, new clouds just look phenomenal. Um, I don't know, I'm probably gonna say um, variable optic zooms. And new weapons and updated weapon models. Sound engine, no, I don't like the new sound. I feel like there are more problems um, close range than they used to be. Like when somebody's sprinting at you and they're right around the corner and they sprint out, there is no sounds, there is no footsteps. Do you participate in the in-game events? Yes. How challenging is Escape from Tarkov for you? Extremely difficult, reasonably difficult, average, easy to learn. Um, I would say average, because I mean, I have so many hours in Tarkov. Um, and then we click send. The survey is complete, and I think the system sends us some rewards. System, thank you so much for completing the survey. Here is your reward. I'm getting a found and raid battery as well as found and raid tool set. You can use the battery for one of the therapist quests or just sell it on the flea. The price used to be 260k, but now it's probably gonna tank because everybody's selling them. 58k. Yeah, it used to be 250 like a day ago, two days ago. Tool sets are still 150k though, so I mean, that, that's not too bad. All right, let's go through the patch notes to see what BG changed. First of all, they added more rare rewards in the cultist zone. So whenever you sacrifice items uh, in the cultist's circle zone, uh, you can get some marked keys as well as some certain key cards. Increase the recoil when shooting while prone without bipods. Okay, fair enough. Increase the in-rate pickup limit for found in-rate items, 10 for butter, 5 for keys, 5 for containers. So before, when you were finding in-rate um, butter items, like for example, I don't know, um, uh, P-filter, you wouldn't be able to pick up more than 5 of those. Uh, right now, this limit is 10, which is good. Increase the in-rate drop limit from 0 to 1 for certain butter information items without the found in-rate mark. Um, Alright, so I guess before you were not able to drop... Uh, for example, in Jackstra's case, maybe now you can drop it to your teammate or something similar. So items which you were not able to drop before, now you can. Some of them. Um, AK CNC warrior muzzle device is um, can, can, can be used on all suitable caliber assault rifles and carbines. Let's have a look on how it looks like. Hmm. So this attachment, I think it is used for installing suppressors. I think I used it on AK-101. Yeah. And uh, I wonder if you can use it on the usual AK. Let's have a look. Um, because you can install 545 suppressors, and I think those might be better than the usual suppressors. They might be better than the usual um, AK suppressors. So let's have a look if we can install it on the usual AK-74N. Let's see if that's a thing. 
And the answer is, surprisingly, we can. Yeah, we can install the Meta, Meta 545 suppressor. Uh, yeah, that's interesting. Maybe that's gonna change the meta. I don't know. So right now my horizontal recoil is 200. And if I swap to the best um, AK suppressor... Yeah, my recoil goes up by 10%, which is a huge difference. So AK becomes even more... Wait, wait, that's not the best, that's not the best suppressor. You can install um, hex grid suppressor. My bad. Uh, where is it? There we go. 196. No, it's still better. Hex, hex is still better. My bad. But either way, you have uh, more options now. I guess that's good. Reduce the grenade throw accuracy for regular scabs. Finally, no Kobe scabs that are nading you from miles away. List of fixes. Fixed geometry, incorrect doors, graphic artifacts of glass and transparent surfaces. Um, hopefully, it's going to make the uh, glass look less dirty. Fix several cooling errors. Uh, the uh, task triggers and task objectives in areas of all locations. Fixed visual errors causing headgear and accessory clipping. Fix ability to enable disable post effects in RAID when the preview is turned off. Yeah, that's actually an old bug. I think it's been in the game for like a year, maybe a year and a half. Uh, fix animation of enabling tactical devices and lights on helmets. Uh, fix and correct throwing to the jack 3 of F1 grenade. Optimized sorting on the task screen. Fix the graphical artifacts appearing after interacting with container that hasn't been fully searched. Fix an issue with an incorrect sound effect playing when wearing a helmet headset. Fix an issue where the vehicle sound would not play when wearing a helmet headset. Fix an issue on factory where the looping sounds would play at one position for a long period of time and then disappear abruptly. Fix an issue where an outdoor sound source would be muffled with no visible obstacles. Reduce the first person gear sound volume when moving. This is good. So right now when you're walking and running there will be no <coughs> kind of sounds. Uh, at least they're going to be uh, lower. Added sound for mounting weapon to vertical surfaces. Fix the incorrect weight display for some items. I think this might be to do with backpacks, because right now, well, a few days ago before this patch, I'm not sure about now, when you were, would loot the backpack that is not searched, it would weigh nothing. Even there's like three tank batteries inside, you would uh, wear it, equip it, and it wouldn't add uh, an additional weight to you. So that's, so that's what teammates would do. They would just swap backpacks and be weightless. And apparently that's fixed now. And I think those are more or less uh, all the news today. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. Check me out on Twitch where I stream daily. And have a wonderful rest of your day. Ladies and gents, see you in the next video. Bye.